A great way to start the day is coming to Bottega Portici for a cappuccino, literally in the heart of Bologna, and the very famous landmark, the Due Torre, the Two Towers. Built in 1100, this is one historic place to start your morning. If you thought Sunday was not a great day to come to Bologna, think again, because this piazza is incredible. I'm here in Piazza Santo Stefano, and you can see this place is buzzing with energy, and it has the most incredible market that you have to check out when you're in Bologna. So I just ran into this incredible couple here in Bologna at the market here, and uh, your names are? Nina. Nina, I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Hello, Francesco. Nice to meet you, Francesco. <laughs> and uh, literally uh, just made a comment how beautiful this place was, and I think I'm getting a ton of recommendations for food and wine. Yeah, you can't. In Bologna, this is what people talk about in the streets. If you're walking around and you're listening, it's either, you know, how they're going to make the bolito, how they're going to make the pasta, what they're having for lunch or dinner. It is really focused on food. Okay. Now, since, yeah. since the Middle Ages, Bologna yeah. was known as uh, La Grassa. La Grassa, no, the, the fat, fat one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I've got, <laughs> I've got that down. <laughs> well, it's so nice right, to meet so you both. Good luck. You have Cheers. a hard job. Cheers. Yes, I'm thank you. Really seriously. <laughs> All right, so we just found something really, really cool here in Bologna. We are between um, the Fountain of Neptune and Piazza Maggiore, and there are these two corners here in this very cool archway. And when you come here, you can actually watch people standing in the corner, talking into the wall. And no, they're not crazy. You can actually hear the conversation from this corner all the way to the other corner and we're going to put this to the test. Can I listen real close? Do you hear me talking? I hear you, Ryan. Can you hear me? Oh, is that crazy? Yeah. That's so funny. Hold on. Let me look up. Your voice sounds so sexy. Oh. Look at that. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's awesome. That is so weird. Bologna is an incredible town. The energy and life here is unlike anything that I've seen, honestly, in other cities across Europe. You can just literally walk down any street and find this. She's a member of the Outback Club. She don't get down and she don't give up. She's living in the land she loves. Born and raised, she's a member of the Outback Club. One of my favorite things to do when I'm here at Piazza Maggiore in Bologna is to sit at one of the cafes, listen to the music, have a drink, whether it's Sangiovese or a cocktail, and just take in this beautiful city. It is time to step out for aperitivo in Bologna. So I literally walked out of the hotel to Lab 16 for one of my favorite drinks, the Campari Soda. And it's really hitting the spot. We're gonna get our evening in Bologna started on the right foot. One of the things that you'll notice when you come to not just Bologna, but all over Italy and Europe for that matter, is that everybody's outside. We're here, it's November, it's cold but everyone is outside at a cafe under a heat lamp. This is Italian life and it is bellissima.
we are here with a special treat. I'm here with Matteo jo Giovanardi. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. Who has this incredible tower, the Torre Prendi Parte. And uh, we're gonna go up the tower today. So I wanna learn all about this. Yes, uh, the tower was, was built uh, uh, between the end of the 11th and the beginning of the 12th century by several families in the city. And this was uh, one of the tallest uh, tower at that age. And uh, so um, the tower was transported several times during centuries. No, but the first uh, purpose was to 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 set a special uh, um, building uh, for showing the money power and the richness of the families. It was a challenge between family and family for the tallest tower. You no, know? and and the tower was being used for fighting between family and family into the city. It was a civil war. You no, know? wow. And uh, then after one century. Uh, the towers became uh, useless and a lot of them was destroyed for a new building but we are lucky because this tower survived Wow! and now we can take a look uh, to the top of the tower and inside the, we will found 12 rooms and uh, stairs, yes, 280 steps. Oh my gosh. Uh, until the real top. No elevator, huh? No <laughs> elevator, no, 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 nothing. So, uh, Matteo, we're yes. on the first floor yes. area and what yes. is this? Uh, this is a city room the only one, but uh, the, the situation changed uh, in, uh, at the end of the 18th century when the tower was adapted as a normal flat for, for living in. Mm -hmm. So how did you decide that you wanted to buy a tower? Well, my father bought the tower in 1972, but for tax reasons, he decided to give the tower immediately in my hand. Ah. And it was really a mystery to me, and I discovered to own a tower at 18 years old, yes, really, on my, on my, on my birthday. We can take a look to, to a section of the tower, ah. um, so I can, I can show you. Uh, so the entrance, the sitting room, the mezzanine, the, the kitchen, Two flat of jails of prisons wow. because the tower was being used uh, as a jail in the in the 18th century, and then a small museum, uh, a meeting uh, area, <laughs> and then wooden floors okay. until the real top of the tower. Incredible. The approach uh, to the to the maintenance was to keep the tower in the same uh, uh, with the same atmosphere. Yes, the of the, oh, Yes, yes, of, of the old days. No. It's beautiful. Uh, no, no modern things inside, no television, no air conditioning. Wow. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a preserved uh, as in the past. So you can feel what it was like to be here in the old days. Yes, you touch a wall, it's, it's a wall of 900 years old, though. Wow. This is the only sleeping zone of the tower. So, Matteo, people can actually stay here yes. at the tower. Yes, but it's a special formula. I will give you the keys and you became the master of the tower for one night. Wow. So, no one will, will stay with you and uh, you, you can go in and out as you want. Uh, you can uh, ask for a, for a candlelight gala dinner for two. Wow. But the basic package uh, is a guided tour to the top with a welcome drink, uh, overnight uh, and breakfast. Oh, wow. Matteo, this is really fascinating and um, I can only imagine how beautiful this is to stay here and to have the bedroom downstairs and yes. then the kitchen upstairs. You, so, if I, if I was staying here, you could prepare your own meal, right? Yes, but normally, normally for breakfast, uh, the couple came up uh, for, and, and uh, prepare the, the breakfast by themselves. Okay. So no one is coming for right. privacy, no. Right. Or in, in case of a, of a dinner, the, the, the special area for dinner is on the next floor. I see. And this is the kitchen for the chef, and the chef will prepare the, expressly for the couple. It's wow. a restaurant for two. Wow. This was a, was a cell of the prisons. Huh? Wow. Because this was the link to the seminary, to the school, from, from the school to the tower. No? And, and then it was be used from the tribunal to the tower as a jail. Wow. And then what are these holes for? Uh, for scaffolding, for, for, for beams, for, for, ah. for the, the workers, for, for the construction, no? for the builders. Wow. You can have a romantic dinner here. Yes, this is, is, is one of the, of the possibility to to, to take a, a candlelight gala dinner inside. 
Beautiful. Or you are you own the keys. You can when it goes to to a restaurant outside. So it's not uh, necessary to eat uh, something inside. But if you want, it's possible. Wow, I love it. This is great. It's beautiful. You can see the dates: uh, 1785, 1779. And then all of these markings. Yes what was made by, by the prisoners with the two techniques. The first one is the paint, the color, the red color, and the second one was as graffiti scrapped into the, 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 the plaster, no? How many days there? Uh, I mean, yes, days, days and nights. So the color is red, so it's not blood, but it's the red powder uh, coming out from the bricks. Yes. And mixed with P and paint is so wow. a chemical combination: calcium carbonate and uric acid. Wow! The stories that these walls have seen. Yes. This is a medieval Manhattan, no? Yes, it is. <laughs> this was the city. This no, no way. 11, 11th century, you know? With all of these towers. Yes. yes. One this was Bologna. Bologna in the middle. A completely red, no? Because we have no natural stones in the surrounding. The only material is the clay, no? The red terracotta. And all of the towers for defense to protect for, the city. Yes, for showing the money power and for defense and for offense too, huh? So small towers was surrounding the doors of the city, no? Four kinds of towers. So the tower, the towers as mine. The Casa Torre house tower, habited in the inhabited in uh, in the Middle Age, mm -hmm. and Torre Zotto, the small tower surrounding the doors, okay. and then Torre Campanaria, the bell towers of the mm -hmm. churches. Mm -hmm. This was my son's bedroom. Really? Yes. Now, now he 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 is a 38, uh, eight, uh, <laughs> 39 years old. This was a city uh, bedroom uh, area with no eating. No television, no PlayStation. Really? Yes, it was a small uh, a prison for him, for, for him too. Eh? <laughs> wow. Oh. Now where are we going here? Yes, next floor, next floor. One more, or one less. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only open hole of the tower. The night is clear or no? It's not so clear. Eh? I'm sorry. Yeah, there was no light back in those days, so all candles, I would imagine, yeah, to get yeah. through here. Or flames. Wow. Mateo, what a view. It's impressive, no? It is impressive. We are the master of the city now. <laughs> we are in the tallest tower available. The Duetori? Yes, Duetori, the cathedral, St. Peter, San Petronio Square over there. Yeah, Piazza Maggiore. Piazza Maggiore, yes. Other towers. <sighs> what a city this is. There's no other city that I know of in the old days that would have looked like this. So, what an architectural marvel this must have been yes, in the day. It, it, was, it was a school coming from the north of Italy, you know, because uh, in other cities of, of Italy, uh, there are cities with other towers, but the tower was made in, in, uh, in stones, not in bricks, because, right. but we have no natural stones in the surrounding, no marble, no nothing. And the only possibility is to build it with clay. Wow. <laughs> yes, the view is more than before. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it is. I bet this view never gets old. Mm. Yes, uh, after 47 years, uh, I, I took, uh, I took a, um, a, a, a look from the top of, since uh, 47 years, but uh, it's always a new discover. I've never seen a city yeah. that has such a dramatic, um, beautiful architecture to see towers leaning like yes, this. Yes, yes. It's just... 
unusual. Um, and um, uh, it's, a, it's a medieval city. Look, yes, Florence is a Renaissance, no? Venice is Venice, Rome is Rome, it's clear. But Bologna is a, is a, is a characteristic medieval. medieval city. Well, you, it's hard to put a price tag on passion, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. And if this is, and clearly, inheriting this at 18 yeah. and to today, <laughs> yes. this is love. This, yes, this is, uh, and, and I fitted my legs too. Yeah, <laughs> so did I getting up here. <laughs> <laughs> Strong legs. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mon Mateo, yes. unbelievable experience. I thank you. Grazie thank you so mille. much. Thank and you when so much. you come to Bologna, you must come here to the tower, to Torre Prendi Parte, for the most out of this world, top of the city, <laughs> experience. Uh, Grazie. Prego. Ciao. Okay.